Hi guys, so I get a lot of questions from people who are just starting out on how to set up an account with free trade and how free trade works and stuff like that. So I figured I would do a video just explaining, you know, exactly how the process works in terms of setting up an account, choosing which account to go for and how buying and selling shares and stuff works. So if you've already got a free trade account and you've figured all that out, this video might not be for you, but hopefully this will be helpful to those of you who have asked me to create this video. If you're downloading free trade because someone has mentioned it to you or talked to you about it and you want to check it out, make sure you ask them whether they can send you a referral link because that way you both get a free share as I thank you from free trade for referring other people to the platform. So as an example, if you're doing it because I've encouraged you to do it, then make sure you ask me for a referral link so that you can get a free share. So because I already have an account, the guys over at free trade have kindly sent me some footage to show you what the initial setup looks like. So we'll just have a look at that quickly. So this is what you first see when you sign up to the platform. The first thing you have to do is put in your email address. Fairly simple. Then it will tell you that you have to confirm your email address. So you have to come off the app, go into your emails and then click the link that they've sent you, which looks something like this. And then you'll be taken to this screen where you have to set up a passcode in order to use the app. Then you just put in your name and surname, then your date of birth and then your postcode. You then need to confirm your nationality and you will see here that you have to declare that you're not a US citizen and the reason you do that is because there is something called withholding tax in the US where they will tax your dividends at 30% but if you fill in this form which Free Trade kindly does for you when you fill in all this information you will actually have a reduction on that withholding tax so you will actually only pay 15% withholding tax rather than 30. After that, it will ask you for your passport number in order to confirm your identity. Finally, you will see this screen where you will choose between a basic account or an ISA account. You can see here that basic account is free, whereas the ISA you pay three pounds a month for. Now we could talk for a long time about ISAs, but essentially an ISA is the tax wrapper where you can invest up to 20,000 pounds a year and anything you earn there, whether it's capital gains or dividends, is completely tax-free and you don't have to worry about it. I will go more depth into this in a video over the next couple of weeks, but essentially it depends on how much you're planning to invest. So everyone in the UK gets a tax-free allowance of capital gains of about £12,000. I think it's like £12,500 and a £2,000 interest-free allowance for dividends. Unless you're investing enough to make more than that, maybe you don't want to bother with an ISA. The other thing is go and watch my video about UK tax in terms of investing in things like REITs and stuff because that might affect your decision on whether or not to go for the ISA or not. So now we'll go into my own account because clearly that was a fake account which couldn't go through any further. So once you have an account this is what you'll see, I mean obviously you won't see a portfolio because you won't have one but this will be the page where you see your portfolio and you can go into each of your investments and see how it's doing, how many shares you have, your overall investment gain or loss and your activity. You've then got the insights page where it tells you which type and which sector you've invested in. So you can see here the breakdown of mine. Over 60% of mine is in ETFs, which is what I wanted. And in terms of how you pick stocks or you find stocks to buy, you go on the discover page and you can either search here. So for example, if I really wanted to invest in Apple, I would search Apple and you've got Apple here and you click on that and then you've got the buy or sell button here. You can see I've got Apple on my watch list but it tells you the stats here and then about, and then it's got a cost and charges document here. So we can go into that just to show you what it looks like. So here you've got every single charge there is 0%. So you get no charges for this. This is more relevant for things like ETFs. You've also got free trades own categories. So you could go in here and see all the newly added stocks. You've got green energy stocks and then all the different kind of categories like popular stocks, popular ETFs, UK stocks, Canadian stocks, tech titans, ETFs, US stocks, but there's a button at the bottom which says see all. So you could literally click that and go through one by one all the different stocks that they offer in terms of buying or selling. You've then got your activity here which will basically just give you your activity feed of what you've purchased and sold and any dividends you've received. Then over here you've got your account page which will tell you how much money you've got in the account and stuff like that. 
when you click the little person at the top here, I'm not gonna show you what comes up because my address comes up on there. But if you scroll down enough, you will see here that this is where you can open your ISA if you haven't opened one already. Then you've got the frequently asked questions and the chat with us button. At the bottom of your portfolio as well, this is where you see your free shares. So if you do refer anyone, you will see a free share queued here. And this usually takes about a week. So I think it's on Wednesdays that they reveal their free shares. Although if you haven't, if you've missed the cutoff time, you might have to wait till the following Wednesday. So that's why they say seven to 10 days. So if I click on it here, it will say we'll reveal it in seven to 10 days. And then your watch list is also here at the bottom. In terms of buying or selling, I will show you how that works as well. So to show you an example, if you go into the company that you want to buy or sell, so we're gonna sell one first so that I've got the money to add. You go into it and then you see the two buttons here, sell or buy. I'm gonna press sell and then this is what it looks like. So you say how many shares you wanna sell and then it will tell you how much you're gonna get back. So if I say that I wanna sell one share, I will get 11 pounds 52 back. So you click review order, you make sure you're okay with everything on here and then you click confirm sell. There you go, that's your sell complete. And then when you want to buy, so this will be the same wherever you go through, but essentially you click on the stock that you want to purchase. So because I've only got the £11.70, I'm gonna do a fractional share. So this will also show you how to do fractional shares on free trade. I will go into Amex, for example, here. I will click buy, and then you see a very similar screen. And then here, you put the amount that you want to spend. So if I put that I want to spend 11 pound, I'm gonna put 11.60 because sometimes the exchange rate, uh, when they send the order, pushes you a little bit into the minus. So I always leave myself about 10 p when I'm buying American stocks. And there it tells you the estimated amount of shares that you're gonna get for that amount. If the stock that you're trying to buy does not offer fractional shares, this will basically say zero unless you put more than the share is worth. So if all you see is zero or one, that's all you're buying. You're not buying fractional shares. Hopefully that makes sense. But yeah, so I'm just gonna put all my amount here into Amex. I'm gonna click review order. Tells you the shares, the cost, and the foreign exchange rate. Confirm buy. And that's that. That's Amex purchased. So that's pretty much how the app works and how you set it up. Pretty quick video, but hopefully a useful one. If you do have any other questions, or you want a referral link or anything like that, just get in touch either in the comments below or by email, which is also in the description box below. I'll be doing a free trade portfolio update video this weekend, so make sure you tune in for that if you're interested. Bye.